Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. I knew, hey, it's crazy. I knew he was going to ask me something about Tory Lanez. I just wanted to explain. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> recently, they dropped the list of rappers with the most YouTube views for 2022. At the top of the list, it was Eminem. Crazy. 5.1 billion. Uh, other people like Doja Cat, Drake, Young Boy, Lil Baby, Future, Lil Nas, Juice World, 50 Cent, Nicki, and Dirk were on there. What what what's your opinion on Eminem being at the top five point one billion? Is he still dropping? Is Eminem he... got Eminem got a crazy fan base. We ain't just talking like you know, like there's people out here that we I listen man like it's people I jam all the time. It was like you know it, it's like there's a difference between being, you know, like local, regional. You know what I'm saying? Like national. We talking about. Global, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Eminem been in the game since. So it's like you know what I mean. Like we talking about Eminem. So it's like I I I can't, cause you know his stuff got his stuff is licensed and he got stuff that's playing on commercials and all types yeah. of like come on now like you can't like this is we talking about. He been in the game for what at least twenty. I feel like yeah, probably twenty five. Yeah, my. Yeah, so like, come on, we we man, come on, you got that much catalog plus, just the time of it just being out there in the world. You got, you know, what I'm saying he he got people that's that's that was his probably his original fan. So what, Eminem like what in his mid forties or something? Probably like that? something like that. 40s, so yeah. yeah, his fans got kids. They yeah, probably right. put them on it. So they boom, that's a whole new generation of Eminem fans. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't look at that as a surprise, because just like how you see, like, who else you said? 50 was on there? Yeah. When last time 50 dropped some shit? Couldn't tell you. Maybe, Maybe that Chris like, Brown joint I'm you did? Man. I'm the man, yeah, right. Yeah, that yeah. joint, that, that shit was hard. hard than the bitch too. <laughs> that shit was hard, but yeah, so, but yeah, but, but 50, hell, hell of a catalog. He got the same shit, so it's like, boom. And he right there with him, so it's like, come on. They torn it, come on. Like, yeah. I ain't surprised about that at all. Okay, so uh, Young Thug's trial is about to start. I don't know if this part going to be out by the time it start, but just in case, what do you see happening? You know, it's not, it's, I want to say it's nine people now that took plea deals against him. The last, one of the last people uh, was a co-founder that basically admitted to the gas station that they was trapping out there. I think I heard that. I think I heard a few that. different things. So what's your thoughts uh, for this, this YSL Rico? Oh, uh, man, from the sounds of it, it just sounds like he's up against a, uh, it's an uphill battle. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like, um, just like you say, he got people that was in his, well, I think, I think Boosie said it the best. I heard him say it on, I don't know if it was Vlad, I think he said it was like, uh, he's like, you put 28 eggs in one basket and you shake them. He's like, some, you know what I'm saying? Something gonna break. So it's like, he got a lot of people around him that's being put in a, you know, granted, they probably not even enjoying the type of lifestyle that he is enjoying. So they might be looking at it like, damn, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm you don't know crying. human psychology. You don't know human psychology. You know what I'm saying? So you put motherfuckers in a box. So I look at it like, man, he's in an uphill battle. But, you know what I'm saying? There's been people that have, have beaten worse shit. You know what I'm saying? So, with the power of, you know what I'm saying, you know, good attorneys and good legal work, you know what I mean? I think there is hope because, you know what I mean, this is a, you, you do got to put the human factor in there too. You got, you know what I mean, jury selection. I'm pretty sure he got some type of people that help specialize, pick those people. So, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of money been spent on his hand for his defense. So, I just feel like he is fighting an uphill battle because it seems like, they really want to get him and really put him, you know what I'm saying? They really, it seems like they really want to put him away. Yeah. But I'm hoping, you know what I'm saying, for the best for him and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, because shit, don't nobody want to see anybody locked up, especially for what they talking about. Like, so, nah. So, uh, another left field question. If you could pick any 
any actor, artist, influence, or whatever, say that you have a a, a, a biography shot about you, movie made. I think that's what it's called. That's, that's a, but what is it called? Whatever the movie is about you, what actor would you have play you in the movie? Play me, man. I don't, man, that's a crazy question. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't know. I don't it's even all know. good. Yeah. <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. 